Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to a new video. Uh, so I'm on my way out to go bed the new rotors and pads in. Uh, if you haven't seen my install videos and, and you know review videos, be sure to go check those out. Uh, I'll link them in the top right corner for you guys. Uh, but I need to go bed these in. First, I need to go get some gas. I'm on my way there now to go pick up some uh, Shell 93. Uh, once we fill up, uh, then we'll go over the whole bedding. <laughs> got the car filled up with uh, some Shell 93. Um, so we're ready to go bed the brakes in. Now I'm gonna explain the process to you first. Uh, so I don't really have to talk too much through the whole process. I mean, I will obviously, but um, just so you have an understanding of what bedding actually does. Now I installed some DBA T3 4000 series rotors as well as some Hawk Street 5.0 pads. Um, and I haven't bed them in yet. Uh, you know, I just, you know, drove around town real quick just to make sure everything's okay. Uh, but now is the actual process of bedding them in. Now the bedding process is something that people A, don't do it correctly, or B, don't even know that they need to do it. It's a very important process after you do brakes and rotors or one of each. It's extremely important to do this properly uh, because otherwise you're, the, the brakes are just not gonna perform as well as they should. Uh, you're gonna get a lot of noises and squeaking and squealing and you're gonna end up hating them. So doing this procedure uh, just makes the brakes work better uh, as well as make them completely silent. Ultimately, it really depends on what you know rotors and pads you do go with. If you have a dedicated track pad, they're pretty much gonna squeak and squeal like crazy unless they're really, really heated up uh, You know when you're on track. Um, so if you're just driving around town with track pads, they're gonna squeal like crazy. But if you drive your STI or your car the way I do, which is just daily driving it um, and doing some spirited drives here and there, uh, you're gonna want a very streetable setup. You know, Maybe something a little bit more aggressive than stock, which is kind of what I went with, uh, but it's not over the top. What the bedding process is, is actually transferring the pad composite onto the rotor. So it has a nice smooth surface for it to break on. Otherwise, if you don't do this correctly or at all, you're gonna get grooves in the rotors. They're gonna wear prematurely um, and you're just not gonna have you know, a great time with the new brake setup. Um, so by bedding them in and heat cycling them, what that actually does is transferring the deposit over from the pad onto the rotor. Uh, it's gonna create a nice smooth surface and break them in perfectly and nice and smoothly and evenly. Um, so you're gonna have a very trouble-free and great braking setup. Now the process that I do and that I have done over the years, uh, I've tried different variations of this, uh, but this is the process that I've found to work best for me uh, and it works every single time. Now the process that I do is I go out and find a long stretch of road where it's not busy, uh, there's not a lot of people because you know you have to do this over and over again um, and it can be kind of dangerous if you're on a busy road, which I don't suggest. Uh, so it is something that you need to do when you're kind of in an area where there's not a lot of traffic or anything like that. So what I do is I get the car up to about 50, 60 miles an hour, um, and then I slam on the brakes. Now, you don't wanna slam on them to the point where your car is, you know, the ABS is kicking in uh, and the tires are starting to squeal. You do not want that at all. You just want a nice, firm, hard brake, but you do not want the car to come to a complete stop. And the reason for that is because you don't want the pads to actually clamp onto the rotors and leave kind of a hot spot, if you will. If you do that, it's going to transfer the, the pad deposit on the rotor, um, you know, more aggressively in that one area. So by going from 50, 60 down to about 10 miles an hour or so, um, it allows the rotors to keep moving and it doesn't leave those hot spots. Now, I do this around eight to 10 times in a row. So I'll, you know, go 50, 60, slam in the brakes till about 10, get back up to speed, go around down to 10 over and over. So I do that about eight to 10 times. Um, it's repetitive. If you get motion sickness in a car, um, you know, just be ready because this this does make you a little wheezy if you if your stomach's a little uneasy. Um, but, you know, you can take a break here and there, but I do suggest doing this over and over so the rotors and pads get a proper heat cycle. If you let the rotors cool down in between uh, all, the, all the braking, um, they just won't bed in as well as they could. Now, if you do experience some um, squealing and squeaking and noise after you do this process, just do it again. Just do it over and over until you, you know, they're completely silent. So now that I've explained the process to you, you kind of understand what I'm about to do. Um, let's go out, find a stretch of road where there's not a lot of traffic and it's safe to do this. Um, I'm probably only going to record, you know, two, three on camera. I don't, I'm not going to do the full 10 because it's obviously very repetitive. You'll get the idea. But um, once we're finished, I'll get out of the car, show you the rotors, just, you know, show you what they look like after the heat cycling. 
uh, make sure everything looks okay, and then uh, we'll wrap the video up. All right, so I found a nice safe spot, so let's get up to 50 or 60. get motion sickness but the last couple that i didn't have on film actually i do have on film but i cut them out uh started getting a little queasy just because uh these brakes are pretty darn good they break really hard probably the hardest braking setup i've ever had on any car so that says a lot about you know this brake package that i put on the car so yeah let's step out of the car get some fresh air um and take a look at the rotors and see what we're looking at uh, but overall went very smoothly absolutely zero squeaking on the way home i let everything cool down um, and um, so far I'm really happy with how they're braking. They're only gonna get better over time. You know, the more I brake, the more they break in. Check this corner. Um, I mean, the brake looks okay. Definitely can see some brake dust, but the car is dirty. Um, I haven't washed it in about two weeks, so that's just an accumulation. But, um, you know, that's probably just from the initial braking period in the bedding process. So that is definitely something I noticed, but the rotors look really good. There's no, you know, streaking or anything abnormal or anything like that. Let's go check the others. Here's the rear driver. Everything looks great. There was a little bit of rust in the slots just because it's been raining um, and you know the rotors have been sitting. Um, but again, some some brake dust on the on the wheel well there. Let's go around to the passenger side, check out. Probably gonna be the same thing. Yeah, rotors look really good. There's no streaking or lines or anything like that. And here's the passenger front. Everything looks great. There's no marring or streaking or anything like that. Looks great. Um, and really happy with the overall uh, brake setup that I chose. If you guys have any questions, be sure to ask them below. I'll be happy to answer. Uh, but in the meantime, keep it clean, keep it simple. I'll catch you in the next one.